everyone. Just in uh, Saskatchewan doing some amazing uh, end of the season fishing and uh, caught a beauty, beautiful pike. And again, I just want to show uh, using the live well and why it works so well. Um, taking the hook out, you want to take those last minute pictures and then releasing the pike and everything just works so smoothly. And again, the health and safety of the fish. So um, the, most of the holes drilled here are only drilled down about eight inches. And then at the very end, I drill one hole all the way to the end. And then she just lets herself out when she's ready. One thing I really want to point out, and I think it's super important, is that you want to make sure when you are done for the day that you mark your live well. Um, so what I like to do is just bring a stick because it's natural, it's found in the lake once the snow melts. And I just like to prop it, you know, one stick on either side of the, uh, the live well and just kind of get some snow around it, put some water, kind of, I call it, make a, uh, a snow castle and uh, do the same on the other side of the live well. I already have these kind of marked and then bring some water in and just really get them frozen in there. And again, this just lets other people that are using the ice know that uh, there is something here. So you don't want a truck driving over it or maybe, you know, if kids are running around, it kind of just marks the area and lets people know. So be safe out there.